Kent portable LPG cabinet heaters provide economical, reliable and safe heating regardless of house type or lifestyle. In this video, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide of how to assemble and safely operate your Kent cabinet heater. Please ensure you note the following important safety information. Do not use this heater if you suffer from asthma, as use of this type of heater may aggravate existing breathing conditions. Do not use in high-rise flats, bedrooms, bathrooms, basements, toilets, caravans or mobile homes. All children and persons with reduced physical, sensory or mental capabilities must be supervised when the heater is in use. A fire guard is recommended for added safety. Remove your heater from the carton and assemble the base panel using the screws, washers and nuts provided. Refer to page 3 of the instruction booklet included with your heater. Place a full 9kg LPG cylinder into the heater, positioned so the cylinder valve faces the rear of the heater. Ensure the cylinder valve is closed by turning it fully clockwise. Connect the QCC regulator to the cylinder valve by turning the large black knob in a clockwise direction. It is necessary to tighten the knob completely as the built-in safety system will only allow gas to flow if a safe connection is made. Always check for leaks with a bubbly soapy water solution, away from any source of ignition. If there are any open flame source in close proximity, do not check for leaks as this is extremely dangerous. To perform a leak test, turn the gas cylinder on by turning the valve anti-clockwise. Apply the bubbly, soapy water solution to all joints and connections. If large bubbles start appearing and grow in size, there is a leak. Turn the gas cylinder off immediately and contact your local gas fitter or service agent. As you can see, there are no leaks present. Attach the back panel by connecting it to the back of the heater. Position the heater facing towards the centre of the room that you wish to heat. Do not operate the heater in a room smaller than 86 cubic metres. This ensures there is adequate ventilation. Do not place the heater within one metre of people, drapes, furniture and other objects. Ensure that when the heater is operating, there is a window open to allow for adequate ventilation. Do not use the heater unless the front chrome wire safety guard is in place. This prevents the risk of fire or injury from burns. No parts of the heater should be permanently removed. Never stand or kneel directly in front of the heater when attempting to light it. Stand to one side of the heater when lighting. To light the heater, push and hold the control knob down. If the heater has been fitted with a new LPG cylinder or has not been used for some time, keep the knob pushed down for approximately 10 seconds to let air escape from the gas hose and burner. While the knob is pushed down, rotate to the L position. You should hear the igniter click twice as you rotate. Look at the pilot to confirm it is lit. To change the heat setting, slightly push and rotate the knob to the desired position. For low heat, rotate the knob to L. For medium heat, rotate the knob to M. And for high heat, rotate the knob to H. Place your fire guard in front of the heater now. While the heater is turned on, do not move the heater. Do not walk directly in front of the heater. Do not place clothes or other objects on or in front of the heater. To turn off the heater, stand to one side of the heater. Never stand directly in front of the heater. Rotate the control knob to the off position. At this point, the outer tiles should extinguish and the center tile and pilot will still be operating. Reach into the back of the heater and turn the cylinder off by turning the cylinder valve fully clockwise. Observe the heater until the center tile and pilot have extinguished. Allow the heater to cool for approximately 30 minutes before moving the heater, placing it in storage or changing the cylinder. Kent Cabinet Heaters come with a one-year warranty. For more information, please visit our website. 